this. Look at the concentration in your face. <laughs> I've been four-wheel driving and camping ever since I was a kid. Now I have a family of my own. We love this stuff. Whether it's four-wheel driving, testing our gear, fishing or camping. So come along and join us at Graham Harris Four-Wheel Drive Adventures. You know, for those of you that are just wondering what we got on now, set up for our camping. Um, we'll just run through a few things and uh, through the cruiser in Colorado. Uh, start off with we've got two CF Moto machines. We've got the 550 buggy, uh, 550 bike, and the 800 buggy. Uh, both winch compatible. With all the bloody everything you need on them. Actually, they're, they're a great machine. Great machine. Um, first little trailer. My brother built this a while ago uh, just to carry the quads through the bush. We ended up sticking the buggy on it. Oh, none up, so we really decided break to <laughs> break it big time, <laughs> bent all the, the draw, bar. draw bar on it. So we put a new draw bar on it and uh, just put a Elko coupling on him. They're not too bad of a coupling. Um, Cruise is all decked out with all the um, the King's 1500 watt inverter, he charges up all the gear in here, all the batteries, everything else we need for the drone, the footage, and cameras and stuff like that. Microwave in him if we need it, that's if we need it. Um, one little good tip if you're putting a spare tire on a trailer, which we did with this one, is we threw the full bearing hub kit on there, just welded him on. And uh, that way there, if you ever, ever do a hub, and you, you're like your bearing and stuff like that you've got a full spare the whole kit and caboodle can just come straight off of there and go onto that and get you home um, cruisers little bj70 land cruiser disc brake front end on him put some uh, dba slotted rotors on him as you do um, aftermarket air cleaner uh, snorkel on him good little honest 3b motor PDO winch on it, that thing will pull you out of anywhere and uh, as it's done plenty of times. Good little machine, good little machine. Then we go on to the Colorado. Colorado is 2015 RG, 2 inch EFS lift kit in him, nothing special. Uh, Ironman front bar, Ironman recovery points, King Spotties, 12,000 pound Dominator winch on him, that thing really does pull that winch. ARB awning out of this side, that'll be getting replaced soon because, oh, I don't know, it's just got these plastic brackets on them that just break all the time. I don't know why we get them when the King stuff have all aluminium ones on it. I don't know whether it's just an older ARB system that have that, but anyway, that'll be getting taken off and replaced. Rock sliders on it keep it off the off the cells and everything else tjm rear bar i really do like that rear bar rock tamer mud flaps on him um, it's got all the the roof rack and everything else we've just modified it to sit up there for the rooftop tent we sleep in the one on the colorado and if you've never seen in one of these king's rooftop tents That's what they look like inside. Little light sitting up the top there. And um, we haven't got the windows open just yet. Been a bit slack this morning. And, um, we'll open them up. But yeah. Nice and comfy. Really good, really good. And, uh, never have a bad night's sleep in one of those things. Now onto the trailer, the little toy hauler. And um, homemade, but does the job. Start at the front, DO35 hitch. Personal opinion, probably the best hitch on the market for off-road use. Really has gone some places. Projector power hub, um, all of our electrics off the trailer, the runoff of it. And uh, yeah, he's, it, it, it gets down to about 90% each night and then charges up first thing in the morning. Solar mat out there, charging him up. And, uh, that's another, what was it, a 200? It's only 200 watt. 
200 watt solar mat from Kings and it just charges up, no worries at all. All the stainless steel Bunnings drawers and um, just whatever you want to keep in them. It's all stainless so it won't rust. Heaps of stuff, that, plenty of storage in them. First aid kit. Fire extinguisher, just in case. Toolbox up on top there. Um, that toolbox is just for carrying the ramps and any of the recovery stuff and everything else. Nothing too heavy up top. Then we've got all the suspension. The suspension we run on this thing is a simplicity suspension. Um, my opinion, probably one of the better suspensions you can get. Just because they're so, they have so much travel, it's not funny. And the good thing is, as you can see, there's no airbags, no shockies, no bullshit like that. Um, it's just basic, simple, and does the job. Way less maintenance. And uh, legs on the front of him, all adjustable. And this thing, you'll see in the videos on how much suspension trouble these things have. And uh, I, I dare compare to, a, to some of the other suspension with all of his, you know, it's a lot of money to put suspension under some trailers. And these things here are relatively cheap. And my God, they walk anywhere. Just love it. Spare tyres, um, awesome little LED tail lights on it, full skid, skid plates underneath here on his bum. Uh, it's got a two and a half ton winch sitting under it, or well, just over two tons, sorry, and um, you can double him up and get a bit more grunt out of it. Full receive hitch on the arse of it to drag stuff if you need it. Lights up on the back of him. And, uh, we've got a 270 awning on him at the back here. These are beautiful bloody awning. Absolutely love them, Amos. Oh yeah. Plenty of shade. We park the the quad under this one of a night time and the buggy under the front one. And uh, just keep, keep them out of the weather a little bit of a night time. You know, just so the dew's not on them when you go on first thing in the morning. And uh, make sure your clothesline does the job. Got your little cooker sitting out here. Um, now, we do have the switch, a remote for the winch. If not, we can use him. And uh, he's powered all the time. He's ready to go. 40 litre water tank. So we just crank up our little box and um, we got water. Anytime you need it. Got all your lights, everything else in here all set up. Battery charger. Kitchen, that's a huntsman's kitchen. Um, does a good job too. Does a good job. It's, they weren't that expensive. Um, and you know what? It holds knives and forks like a kitchen. <laughs> so, once again, you didn't have to buy anything $50 million to do the same job. King's fridge, 70 litre fridge. Never had a drama with it. Um, it keeps stuff cold. That's what fridges do. Plenty of room in there. Freezer. Got him set up. All the meats, everything else in there. Thought we'd throw a little stereo in it just to give us a bit of music. A bit of doof doof, never goes astray. Um, that was a superior slide in that one, only because I picked him up cheap on eBay. Titan one from Kings. Uh, just modified to fit, the, fit that. Stuck one of these jiggers on it to stop the rocks flying up into that box so much. And the way this lovely person drives, <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, nice. it, it, does throw, it does throw a few rocks up there. Colorado's just packed up. We just bring um, extra extra esky and ice to put all the drinks in there so we don't have to fill the fridge up with everything. Uh, we just top the ice up in that as we need. You know, they keep for bloody five or six days anyway. So, no, you can see. Bit of panel damage and stuff on the Colorado. These these TJM bars cop a fair whack on the on the back of it, and uh, at least they took the punishment, not the Colorado, too much. And um, the old camp dog, he's under there having a bit of a snooze. And, uh, but yeah, so that's all 
pretty well all the stuff that we've got on the toy hauler. Um, a lot of a lot of interest in it. A lot of people love what we've built and what we've done with it. I, I love it too. It's a it's a brilliant machine. You know, like a, 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 the whole combination that we've got it goes is a anywhere. brilliant little setup. So it's good. We're down here at Cape Palmerston, Cape Holiday, Palmerston Park. Holiday Park, buggering off to Cape Hillsborough up at Smallies Beach in a couple of days. And, um, Really can't wait to get up there and have a bit of a look too. I hope it's as good as this place here because this place is amazing. Great little spot. Beach. Um, yep, beach is, away, beach is 100 metres on the other side of those trees there. Nice little walking tracks all the way through. You can check them out on the videos and we'll throw a few up there and with all the tracks and stuff. It's good. Sassy and, um, yeah, yeah, and we just went and had a look for a bit of coral down there. And uh, you can have a look and take photos everywhere. It's great. But, um, yeah, so no, I hope you love the setup. And if you've got any questions, just let us know and we'll try and get back to you. And uh, yeah, cheers.